Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and we're here to do something, I hope, fun, <laughs> um, that involves tankies. So, what I will be making is a little envelope. Let's grab something that can be a tag. Well, that's a, this is a tag, so that'll work. So, you have space here to tuck things in, and you also have space here. And it's using up some of these beautiful textiles that I, <laughs> I collect. I have a shoe box and it's overflowing. So I need to use some up. So maybe I'll make some, maybe I'll make more than one today. Um, so let's talk about hankies. <clears throat> so I, I want to make sure that it's a very thin, like if you see this, like it's very translucent. Whereas this one is heavier. This is a linen. This is a cotton. It might not be too bad. Um, these ones are both thin, so that's good. Um, it's best to have one that's only decorated on one corner because that's going to be the flap of your envelope. So something like this you know, once it gets all folded and everything, you know, you're, you're going to be covering up all that beautiful embroidery. So save this to make something else. Although, let's face it, that's gorgeous. Okay, if you want to waste it, waste it. <laughs> uh, this one is nice and thin and has a beautiful um, corner embroidery there. has a big hole. So that doesn't bother me so much. I'm trying to figure out which is the good side, which is the bad side. I think this is the good side. The hole doesn't bother me so much because, you know, once we do the little foldy folds, it won't be, uh, it won't be showing. But you flip that down and you get almost no embroidery at all. So save this for a different project. So this is going to involve heavy finish spray starch. You can get this at the Walmart in the States. Um, I don't know if we can get it here or not. I haven't bought it here for so long. I usually make my own spray starch. Um, but this is, this is very easy. Um, this one would be super cute. I might try that one anyway. But I think the ones I'm going to use is this one because it's already raggedy and sort of that shabby chic look that I like. So I'm going to iron this and give it a nice um, stiff finish. And then I will come back and show you how it works. Okay, so because I'm making pages for this fabric covered book that I've been working on, I don't want my pocket to be any more than five inches wide. So I have this piece of pretty stiff card and I've cut it five inches wide and I've marked the center line at two and a half. So I want to make sure I have the wrong side up. And I'm just going to make sure, let me see, I've got to stand up. Maybe I'll turn it this way. I want to make sure that the halfway mark is aimed towards the corners. So if I was to lay a, a ruler on here, there's pretty much the corner. Okay, so the first thing first thing I'm going to do is turn the edges up. Okay. 
okay um, and I would press that but that's uh, that just shows you I would press it right on the card now I want to make an edge here I would press that so let me go do that and I shall return okay so we've gotten this far so the next step is I'm gonna fold this up and I want to leave some space here and fold this down like that so if if it doesn't look like your um, edges are meeting just give it a little tug because it is uh, it's a fold on the bias iron that there we have our little envelope so the first thing I'm gonna do is stitch across this edge right up against that edge so that um, none of this will come unfolded so let me stitch that I think we're are we recording we're recording okay so I've uh, stitched along that edge and I'll just trim those threads it's not necessary to knot them but you can I think I will but don't knot them too tight or you'll um, cause that edge to crease bunch up And now I will be sewing over that so I don't I'm not worried about it coming undone I'm just worried about not being able to cut that thread <laughs> um, yeah that one worried me this one does not worry me I will cut it right off okay now there's a couple threads here that I'm not a fan of so we'll trim those off as well Okay, so my plan is to put this on this page. So you're thinking, Nancy, I don't sew. I can't sew. That's okay. You can hand stitch this on. If you don't have a sewing machine. Just adding a little bit of fabric tack there. And then making sure it's straight. Next, I'm going to sew all the way around. I'll have to open this up because I don't want to sew through both pages, of course. I'm going to sew all the way around from just under this fold. All right, now I'm just going to pull the thread to the front. Tie this off.
So there is our little hanky pocket. Again, and then you can make a little journal card, even a, um, like an index card it would have to be trimmed because this is slightly less than five inches. Okay, so let me show you something else. reach over here you probably already guessed what I've done <laughs> so I've already pressed up some of these this is the, the little linen hanky that had the uh, shamrocks. Here's a little peachy colored one, has the, the wreath of flowers. And here's the one I said don't use, but isn't that pretty with the scalloped edges? None of these have been sewn because you might, you might want to resize this for your own journals. Um, you might want to use this hanky for something totally different. You might want to use it for a page. And we've got some more. So this one has a little bit of lace on there and some embroidery. This one has a little bit of white work there, embroidery. Here, this one has some lace and little blue roses. This one's got some hand crocheted trim around it and a little um, embroidery. This one's got tiny pink and white daisies. This one's got some scalloped edges. This one has tatting. It's just plain white with some tatting. This one's a big one, it's an H. So this is going to take more, up more space on a page. Here's a D. Another little blue, scallop blue embroidery. This is one is white, it's linen, it has teeny little gray dots and some little leafy things. This one this one speaks very 40s to me, um, with the bright colors and um, little applique flowers. This one says mother and it has these little daisies on it. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to be making these all day. And I will be adding them to my Kofi account because I want to do another fundraiser for my... Um, Friends at the tent encampment, um, tents are in horrible shape. Um, with my last fundraiser that I did in May, um, the tents are torn apart. I'm going to have to, instead of buying lots of cheap ones, I'm going to have to buy s fewer more expensive ones that are going to last a little longer because the situation doesn't look any better. Um, we don't have enough shelter beds. All of the shelters are in COVID out outbreak right now. Um, weather is getting colder at night. I woke up this morning, it was 10 degrees Celsius. So if you would like a hanky envelope, I will have them at my Kofi account. I'll put the link below um, and I'll sell each one for $5 irrespective of age, condition, machine made, handmade, whatever. Um, I know in some of the places I visited, hankies can be very expensive. I saw individual hankies when I was um, shopping 
in uh, some uh, vintage and, and antique malls. They were priced like $8 for one hanky. And to me, that's criminal. Um, so these will be five. They're ready to go into your journal with a little bit of sewing. And all of the proceeds, um, I'll pay for the shipping. All of the proceeds will be going to um, purchasing quality tents uh, for the folks at the encampment. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little how-to. Of course, you can make your own. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.